everybody. Hope everyone's doing well. Today I got up, was cooking breakfast, and realized that we have hit the 100 subscriber mark, and that's pretty awesome in less than two months. At least I think that's a big deal for me anyways. So I want to show some appreciation, and I want to do a couple drawings. But first, while we're talking about appreciation, I want to give a shout out to Home Depot. Where I work, uh, when this epidemic hit, it was really hard to get N95 masks. And one day, a manager from the local Home Depot stopped into where I work, and I believe they dropped off 10 or 12 boxes of Milwaukee N95 masks. Very nice masks. And I just thought that was a nice gesture, and that kind of stuck with me. So today, I'm working on some projects around the house. I needed a reciprocating saw, I needed an angle grinder, and then um, a few little odds and ends work on a toilet and such. So I got thinking, I was like, you know what? What better way to show my appreciation than to Home Depot? Home Depot has no idea who I am. They don't know where I work, but I really appreciate that you guys dropped off these masks to us. So went a little out of my way, passed a few other stores to go to Home Depot bought the items I needed and I just want to say thank you to Home Depot like I said you have no idea who I am where I work but that was just a gesture that was uh, kind of stuck with me so I wanted to spend my money there today back to the drawing I want to do something a little different I notice uh, usually people when they hit the thousand subscriber mark they'll do a drawing I want to do something at a hundred just because I think that's cool we never did this intending on having a bunch of subscribers or anything like that and I think the only one that cares is our daughter because she thinks it's cool that the subscribers keep going up and up so what I want to do is I'm gonna do two drawings when we hit a thousand subscribers but I'm gonna do a little different as soon as I get home here I'm gonna mark down take a screenshot of our first hundred subscribers I'm just gonna hold on to that once we hit a thousand subscribers, I'll do two drawings. The first drawing will be a $50 gift card, and I'm not sure where it will be. I'm kind of thinking somewhere along the lines of like a Rural King, a tractor supply. Um, I don't know if Big Farm's still around. We had one a little south of us. But uh, the first drawing will be a $50 gift card, and the only ones that will be eligible for that were our first 100 subscribers because I really want to show appreciation to the first 100. The second drawing will be a $100 gift card drawing. Same stores, and we'll, we'll figure out the details later on what stores. But it will be a $100, $100 gift card drawing for the first 1,000 will be entered. So the first hundred will be a $50 gift card, first thousand will be a $100 gift card, and I'll put the names from the first drawing right into the second one. So if you're super lucky, potentially, you could have a chance to win $150 worth of gift cards. So it's just our way of saying thank you. Um, we really appreciate this. Like I said, we didn't get into this thinking we'd get any subscribers except for a couple family members. And the comments, like every morning I wake up, we have comments, people are commenting on our stuff, and I just think that's awesome. Uh, we have a lot of videos coming up, and I don't set out every morning just to make a video, but whatever I'm doing that day, I'm like, hey, maybe somebody will like to watch this. So that's what we're doing. But uh, I'm home now, I better get my honeydew list done. So thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. I love waking up to the comments every day. And uh, be sure to tell your friends, family, co-workers anybody you know subscribe to this and uh you know if it's in two days we'll do the drawing if it's a m couple months from now we'll do the drawing whenever we hit a thousand subscribers we'll do the drawings for those 150 dollars worth of gift cards um i could give away just items that i think are cool but it might be something you're not going to use and what's the point in that um you know i think lock and lubes are cool i see a lot of people give those away to guys in the tractors use those a lot but say you're into you know the chicken coops and the whole chicken side of it, you're probably not going to have much uh, use for a, a lock and lube or a tractor part. So this way, I feel it helps them out and uh, also helps out these smaller businesses right now. So take care, everyone. Be safe and have fun.